Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial overview for the LSP Cinnamon Berry Photoshop Action Set. This action set is perfect for adding a beautiful red rich um, autumn glow to all of your images in Photoshop. Really, really simple to use. So let's get started. First of all, you need to download the actions from the LSP Actions website. And when you do, you'll notice you have two Photoshop action sets. You have the action sets for full Photoshop. So this is the CS versions or the Creative Cloud versions, and you have a version for Elements too. But both are slightly different. Full Photoshop does have a couple of additional actions in that Elements simply can't run, and the Elements set has been adapted to work perfectly in Elements. So if you're using Photoshop Creative Cloud, CS2, CS3, CS4, 5 or 6, use the full Photoshop version. If you're using PSE Elements, then you can use this version. To download um, your actions into photo, to, bleep, losing my words, into Photoshop, you simply double click and they are loaded in. If this doesn't work for you, you can visit the LSP Actions website and follow all the installation guides on there for some different methods of getting your actions in. In Elements, you need to open up the action palette by coming here on Window and choosing Actions. Come up to the little lines here load actions and locate your downloaded actions. Uh, make sure you load the elements version in and it will appear in your action palette here. You can simply click the little drop down and see. To play an action in elements, click on the action and hit the play button. And now I'm going to go back over to Creative Cloud to, um, to continue the tutorial. So to view your actions in Creative Cloud, come up to window and choose actions and you'll see them appear. They might be free floating and they might be tagged in somewhere. I like to tag the actions in on this little side panel here till it goes blue. And that way they're kind of tagged in here and it doesn't kind of overlay your image. The actions may appear in gray editing mode. Um, you can use them like this. You simply click on the action and hit the play button down the bottom. I much prefer to use them in colored button mode. I have color coded everything for you. Come up to the top, choose button mode. If they look a little bit all over the place, you can hover here on the side um, and drag the actions in until they snap into a nice, neat column. These actions will appear at the bottom of your action panel, but when you're in grey mode, you can always drag them to the top if you prefer to keep them at the top. So inside you have the full um, autumnal tint overlays. Here you have 10 or 12, depending on whether you're using Elements or Photoshop, um, full overlays so you can play these uh, let me just show you how about we play Rich Pumpkin Pie. You just click this, it plays out over your image and instantly adds that full toning. That really is as simple as it is. On your Layers panel, make sure you can see the layers. If not, come up here to Window and choose Layers. You'll notice that the, um, the tint overlay is in a little group here with a white layer mask. You can play with the opacity to make the effect less or make it stronger depending on how you want your image to look. A black brush has already been selected for you, so if you'd like to paint the effect off anything, you can simply click over any areas. I recommend 100% opacity and 25% flow using a normal brush. You don't really want it any stronger than that because it will make your image look a little bit washed out. Um, even if your original image isn't washed out, by the time you've added this rich, rich toning, anything you're doing to add your original image back in will look washed out just, just naturally because it's showing the original image back through there. You can switch to a white brush by hitting X on your keyboard and paint this back in if you'd like to. Underneath this you have the full brush on tweakers. These are brush layers, so you have creamy haze, um, let me show you this one. A little sign will pop up, you can hit stop, and this adds a creamy haze to your background. Let me turn that one on and off. And a black brush is selected, you can paint that off of your subjects. If you'd like to move the creamy haze, double click the little uh, gradient box here and you can simply move this around anywhere that you like and hit OK. You have Shadow Booster, so if you have any dark areas in your image, um, Shadow Booster can help brighten those up. I will show you that in a moment. I'll go through all this properly in a minute. This is just an overview. Highlight Saver, if you've got anywhere that's too bright, you can play Highlight Saver and paint that over just to rescue any of the kind of the blown out areas. You have a deep dark brush. This is if you want to add kind of um, literally, as it says on the tin, a deep darkness um, or richness to any areas in your image that will really um, add to those tones. So you can paint that over there. 
You have a beautiful bright brush if you want to brighten up any areas of your image you can use that one. You have the full colour brushes um, so you can paint away magentas, um, you can turn the greens into more of a full kind of toning like this. Um, if you wanted to add more redness into those greens it just gets rid of them for you. A little tip though if you've got grass in your image grass normally stays green throughout the year so you don't really want to make that go red. You could paint yellows away, orangey reds, if you want to kind of calm down any of the too richy orangey tones in your image you can use that. And cool and neutralised tones if you're using the full Photoshop version will kind of um, reset that white balance there and add a coolness into your image. Then you have the mini skin set. You have um, bright ice eyes, sometimes um, and when you're really warming up an image it can add a warmness to the eyes so if you want to bring that original eye tone back, cool the eyes down, you can use that one. Gentle skin toner adds a creamy um, brightness to the skin, deepen and enrich the tones. You can add this if the skin's looking a little bit washed out. Soften the skin, does exactly what it says, you can paint on lovely softness. And darling details, you can use this on the eyes, the hair, any way you want to, you know, really pop out of your image there. So for example, I'm just adding that over there, so it really adds that sharpness. Then you have the full finishes. Subtle contrast, I recommend using this one, it's just absolutely beautiful. And you also have um, the candlelight vignette. This adds a warm, rich darkness to the edges of your image. So let's see the before and after. We get rid of those. And turn them back on. The layers I have here originally are the LSP Organic Leaves. These do not come with this set, but you can get these over on the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com and add real falling leaf overlays to your image. So that's before and after using the cinnamon berry full collection. So let's go over to another image. This one here again I've added some leaves in using the organic leaves. It's up to you whether you'd like to use these but you can get them on the website. And now into the full autumnal tint overlays. You can either play these one at a time um, and see if you like the effect or not on your image. Turn it on or off, slide the opacity or let me just get rid of that one. You can um, play all the tints here, so you can click this and it will play every single one of them out and hide it using the little eye icon. Then you can simply go through, turn them on or off and see exactly which ones you would like to use with your image. You can also mix and match this way as well, so you might use a little bit of one, a lot of another, two or three at a time, just to make your unique combination. And once they've all played out, you'll see them all lined up here in your layers panel and each one is turned off. You can simply hover next to it over this little blank box and turn the eye icon to turn on. You can change the opacity to suit your image or you can go through turning these on or off to see which one um, you prefer to use in your image or which two or three. They generally start off at the bottom with the stronger actions and they come up with the milder actions near the top. So I love baker pie for this one. And Rich Pumpkin, although I'm going to turn Rich Pumpkin down. And you can either delete the ones you're not using, or you see here you have an extra delete unused layer. Simply click this and it will instantly remove all of those ones that you're not using. So that's a really fast way of doing it. So that's with Rich Pumpkin and Baker Pie. You can see it's added that instant redness to the image. I'm going to just take that off, just off the skin, just a tiny, tiny bit. Now onto the brush tweakers. I think I'm going to use Shadow Booster, um, so I've just clicked that one there, it's playing out. And that's um, chosen a white brush for me, so I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. And just use that to boost some of the shadows in the background. And also Highlight Saver, I'm just going to play this out um, over that dress and um, the flower in the hair. Just because they look a little bit bright for the image now, we want kind of more muted tones. So I've just played that out you can see that's really brought the, um, the details back into those highlights there. Full colour brushes, I don't think we need to use any of these but if you wanted to for example paint the greens away this will um, turn the greens even redder and even more of a full tone and again you can play with the opacity if you wanted to. Into the mini skin set, let's zoom in a little bit here. the bright ice eyes. You're going to want a small, use a small brush for this one because this is kind of for the iris there. 
So use a small brush and just run that over the eyes and you'll see it's kind of cooling the eye tone down and really bringing a brightness into those eyes to make them pop. The softened skin brush um, will do exactly what it says on the tin. It will soften the skin right down. If you want to do full um, image retouching, I'd recommend the Lemon Sky Dreamy Outdoor Collection because that has 120 Photoshop actions for retouching skin. This is just a mini set that does give you some skin um, options just for a fast fall edit and as you can see they work very very well. Darling Detail Brush, you can use this to bring out the eyes, the hair, um, any little leaves, any areas that you really want to um, pop the details in your image um, to give it that really rich um, kind of over edited full vibe. And then the finishes, the subtle contrast which I just absolutely love. If it looks a little bit dark on your image you can grab a black brush and just paint it off any areas you don't want it to show. Candlelight vignette also will darken those edges. For this image it may be a little bit too dark so I'm just going to brush it off some of the shadows and choose a white brush to actually brush it on a little bit more around this side. And again, play with the opacity if you want to. So let's see before and after. That's before. And there are the leaves added in um, previously and after using the Cinnamon Berry full collection for Photoshop. Let's do another image. Do a little muddy boys. Um, let's go for, um, let's just try a couple out here again. You can play all the tints or you could just click one or two and see how they go for you. Bake a pie, nice and mild. Rusty Robin, this adds kind of a muted brown um, and red tone to your image. I think that looks really nice for this one. My favourite of all of these is a rich pumpkin pie. It just adds that real richness if you really want to go over the top. But again, because I've already got some, um, some of the tints played, I'm just going to reduce that one down. This has added some redness to the yellow here. So I'm going to come down into the colour brush section and use paint orangey reds away. It's already selected a brush for me so I can just use that. I'll just take some of those um, some of those reds off the bottom area there. I'm also going to try paint greens away and see if this works um, just to convert these greens here into more of an autumn tone or more of a brown tone. Just taking the opacity down a little bit there just because I think they really stand out in this image so let's just take them out of the equation. You can see that converts the greens to a reddish tone and you can take the opacity down if it's too strong for your image. It really does depend on the types of greens you've got, whether they're artificial, whether they're leaves, anything like that. Let's finish off with the contrast and vignette. So you can see I'm literally just clicking those and they play. And we can see before and after. Really, really quick. And let's choose a different image. This one here, beautiful little girl. She's picking up leaves into her net. So let's try um, a couple of these. How about we go again with play all of the tints. So this is just going to play out so we can mix and match, pick and choose which ones you want to work for the image. And as you can see, they've all played out. Um, we have the little eye icons you can simply turn on or off to suit your image. So you can go through these, deciding on which one you want, kind of which level of four, which tone suit your particular image, or mix and match. I think crisp brain and robin look lovely for this one and when you're sure you can use delete unuse layers just click this one and it just leaves you with the overlays that you want to use i'm coming down in here on the um the brush on tweaks i think i'm going to use shadow booster just to boost some of the shadows in the hair that were there anyway and have been um, deepened by adding the fall so that's just going to boost those up out of the way and down into the beautiful bright brush. Let's just use that to add a little bit of light to our subject here so she really pops out. The contrast, oh, I've played that one twice. Anything you play you don't want, you can simply drag it to the trash icon. And candlelight vignette. 
So there we go, before and after. Instant beautiful fall image there. So that's using the LSP Cinnamon Berry Full Collection for Photoshop and this set is available at www.lsp-actions.com. You can download this, you can also get the leaf overlays and the other full um, editing sets for, the, for use in Photoshop. Just played Rich Pumpkin Pie, I'm just going to take that off the skin a little bit. And the dress, so you can use this black brush, it's already selected for you to mask any areas um, that you don't want the effect to show, but just go in gently. I just can't stop playing with it. <laughs> Once you start, you don't want to stop because it's just so much fun and there's so many combinations and possibilities with this set. So before and after kind of instantly change to those full tones. I'm just going to take this vignette off this area a little bit so our subject is really lit up there. Super, super quick before and after. And because these are all individual layers, they do not affect your background layer. You can play with the opacity. Um, you can layer them up. You can do whatever you like. And the uh, Cinnamon Berry Full Collection is available at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.